something. And I felt guilty for a couple of years that my brother really dying wasn't as traumatic as him being sick and almost dying all them years ago. And that still doesn't make sense to me, except for this time I knew it was his time. I just, you know, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't make myself do anything. And I'll tell you something else. It takes a lot of faith to let somebody you love go somewhere you've never been. It does. It takes a lot of faith to let somebody go somewhere you've never been and believe it's going to be okay. Whether you're talking about the amusement park or California or Disneyland or dying on you or heaven. Oh, that's funny. I had a dream uh, a few weeks ago and saw Bob, uh, Bob's Paula's husband. And uh, he come up to me and he, he always did cut up and he's always grouchy. That was just his personality. Well, I'm, she knows. I ain't, she ain't here to say nothing, but she knows. And uh, uh, grouchy would be an up, upgrade just sometimes. Don't help him move. Man, he was a drill sergeant. You were free labor and he was a drill sergeant. I helped him move once because my brother volunteered. And I thought, well, if my brother's going to go help, I guess I'm obligated to go. And I was. I was obligated to go, and I went, and I filled my obligation, and I never went again. And uh, <laughs> and he came up, and in the dream he came up, that old voice, and he said, you didn't tell me the truth about heaven. <laughs> and I looked like, he said, it's better than you ever said it was. <laughs> and that was the dream, you know. He said it a couple of times, a couple of ways, but that was it. He come up with that old gruff voice. It wasn't like you told me then. No, it was better. <laughs> and I think it takes faith to let people go. He never sees my weakness without his strength. He never sees my sickness without his health. He never sees my lack without his supply. He never looked at the cross without seeing the resurrection. And if you go through the Gospels, you will find I was looking this morning. Every time Jesus talks about dying, he talks about raising. I could show you a couple of them. Uh, but it's, it's there. And what he said to Peter. Uh, that's what he, I'll show you this. is How to make it. How to, how to do that positive and negative. How, how to respond to how to say the positive thing even in negative situations. That's what he did for Peter here. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, Satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Boy, that sounds pretty hot. That sounds negative right there, doesn't it? But Jesus never stops with just the negative. He doesn't just see the devil's coming to sift you like wheat. He says, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, you're going to strengthen your brethren. See how the negative in Jesus sees past the temptation and past the denying me three times to when his heart is transformed. And I want to go through, a, I want to do a couple of the scriptures right quick. 